I'm Mike Super. I'm a staff scientist at VIS. If I could reimagine the world, I would have a belief in science without the politics because I feel that science, in a way, almost like a religion, has a way to show a truth. I was born in South Africa, but I grew up in Namibia, Southwest Africa. It was an incredible place to grow up. It, the vistas are breathtaking. It's the land between two deserts, right? And so it's very dry. My dad was the only pediatrician in an area that's about the size of England and France, but there were less than a million people. So there was a lot of travel to see patients. It was kind of like all hands to the pump. For example, we came across an accident and we were then basically in our Land Rover driving the, the patient to the nearest hospital. And suddenly I was the nurse, you know, check his pulse, do this, do this, while my dad was driving. <laughs> so we had a good relationship. You know, we were almost in, in that, a medical school uh, training. So there were lots of questions. Why did you do this? Why the da, 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 and so on. The joke is always that pediatrics is more like being a vet because the patient isn't able to communicate with you in the same way. And I think that was very important to him to be able to really help those who couldn't help themselves. I started in medicine in South Africa, but because of politics, left the country. There was a huge exodus of South African physicians to the UK. So my PhD turned into studying a group of children at Great Ormond Street Children's Hospital in London who had what we called non-specific bacterial and fungal infections, particularly in their first 18 months of life. They were like the frequent flyers. They were always in the hospital, always with infections. and. We thought it was a complement protein. And I looked at every one of the 30 proteins that were known, one by one, and showed that it wasn't this. So the first five chapters of my thesis were all the things that it wasn't. And at that time, I hit the library. You want to look at references. They just started coming out on compact discs. Wow. And I was looking for something that bound various sugars in yeast. And lo and behold, there was this newly described thing in rabbits called manan or manan binding protein. And I said, I wonder if it's this. And I tested it and it was. What I was able to show is that these children did not have the normal levels of this protein. And because of that, they reacted poorly to those bacterial and fungal infections. Talking about my own personal journey, that is actually what got me to the VIS. And so we re-engineered that protein, and that is the FCMBL that we've been using in our studies here. Most of my work is in protein engineering, but we've been using this, for example, in developing ways to treat sepsis. We actually founded a company spun out from the VIS uh, called BOA Biomedical. And that is actually developing a dialysis-like therapy for treating sepsis and is also developing diagnostics. They're already in clinical trials with that technology. And I've been working a lot on different DARPA projects. So for example, DARPA DLT, where for sepsis, and DARPA Thor was improving the resilience of the patient in the case of infectious disease, and now DARPA Biostasis. It's just an incredible place because one of the things that I, I really believe is I don't have to be the world expert in everything but I can find somebody here within the VIS whom I can collaborate with in order to do that. You know, we have lecture series and so on here at the VIS in which physicians present on their cases and on their problems. And I think that's wonderful for us because then the engineers sitting here saying, well, of course I can do that. And so I think that collaboration or that communication backwards and forwards with hospitals is phenomenal, which is another strength of the VIS being here in, in Longwood Medical Area. 
One of the sad things for me is that my dad died of leukemia before I joined the VIS, and I would have loved to be able to talk to him about some of the things that, that uh, we do at the VIS. Join us as we reimagine the world.